last month, a staggering 170 people lost their lives because of an incredibly toxic and poisoned illegal drug supply in BC. This is truly devastating to all of us. Each person was a light to the people in their world, and now that light has tragically gone out. When it comes to COVID-19, we've seen what a difference that each of us has made coming together to do our part. Now more than ever, as we face two public health emergencies, we must come together to harness our collective efforts, our compassion and resolve, so that families don't have to keep suffering unimaginable and preventable losses. Before COVID-19, the overdose death toll was coming down but the tremendous pressure of two public health emergencies doesn't change the fact that people need compassion, kindness, and support now more than ever. We know what the evidence tells us. Harm reduction saves lives. Medication-assisted treatment saves lives. Supportive recovery saves lives. Addiction and substance use challenges are very complex with underlying social and economic and personal factors. Not everyone is on the same path, but everyone needs our compassion and a chance to live. Today, I am appealing to anyone who's listening to this message. If you use illicit drugs, those drugs are incredibly toxic and even more poisoned than before. I'm asking each of you to have a plan, buddy up, so you're not using poison drugs alone. Carry naloxone, you can pick up your kit for free at any pharmacy. Know the signs of an overdose so that you can call 911 to get help right away. Get your drugs checked. Visit an overdose prevention service in your area. They are safe, essential services that save lives. Download the new Lifeguard app. Connect with your healthcare provider or call 811 to find safe prescription alternatives to the poison drug supply and speak to your healthcare provider about recovery options. The last three months have been very difficult for all of us in BC, and there are many people who are suffering tremendous grief and loss. Please share this message with your friends and your family. Talk about how to stay safe. Let's look out for one another, let's take care of each other, and let's come together as a province to save lives from overdose.